here I am from my backyard oasis. Wait, it looks like a barren wasteland. In this video, I'm going to tell you what happened, why it happened, and how you can prevent this from happening to your yard. So let's get out of the weeds. Thank you for coming back to, uh, to yet another video. If you guys like these videos, please be sure to like and subscribe to this channel if you're not already. So what I want to do in this video is talk a little bit about uh, understanding issues and problems you may have with your lawn kind of in relation to what I have going on currently with my lawn. As you can see from the introduction to this video, my lawn is looking really brown right now. I was as shocked as, as, as what most of you probably are from if you've seen my lawn in the past, how nice it looks, uh, to walk out to my lawn a couple days ago and I start seeing all of this just brown everywhere. Um, and so I want to kind of walk you guys through what's actually going on with my lawn. So everything was going well and good with my yard. It was kind of in its summer lull a little bit. Uh, usually my lawn takes a little bit to recover after I kind of do my 4th of July stuff where I'm on it a lot and painting on it and kind of doing a lot, really beating my lawn up. So normally this time of year, my lawn's still kind of in that recovery mode, trying to get back to where it was. Also with that, being in the summer, we have the, still the high temperatures and everything else that's kind of working against the lawn. Well, everything was going fine with my lawn until a few days ago, I go and I look outside and I start noticing some brown spots. And I go and I really kind of look around more in my lawn and I see, man, this is getting pretty widespread. And so I really, at first I was thinking, oh my goodness, what in the world happened? Like, is it disease? Is it insects? Um, what could it possibly be? So I was thinking through what I've been doing over the last few days. And it dawned on me that a few days ago, I have actually put down an application of fertilizer. So I had it kind of an aha moment of like, you got to be kidding me. It's fertilizer burn. Now, the reason that I know that it's fertilizer burn in my case is because how quickly it appeared where everything was nice and green and next thing it was just burn up brown completely dead very very quickly uh, in a matter of a day or so after I'd fertilized and then the other thing is is the pattern of which the brown is if I show you here on the screen uh, pictures of what it looks like you can actually see almost like perfect 90 degree angles to where it doesn't, it's not abnormal or a natural pattern. It's definitely like a man-made created pattern. And now whenever I fertilize, I follow kind of around my fence line first, and then I go kind of go back and forth across my lawn. And now you can see the actual burnout spots are very similar. They just follow right through kind of where I would have been walking through uh, with my spreader. So that's when I knew like this isn't my lawn just going brown because of drought or because of disease or insects or some kind of other thing. This was actually caused by me. Now some of you probably be thinking, how does this happen to somebody who does fertilizing as often as I do? Um, and I've used a lot of different products and things like I thought this was supposed to be something that didn't happen that easily. So to reference what I was using, I was actually using Jonathan Green's Green Up Fertilizer which I'd actually used uh, earlier in the year. I think two fertilizers ago was when I actually put it down for the first time. Um, and I actually really liked it. And so then that's why I saw it in the store and I was like, it's time for me to fertilize again. So this would be a good time to just get this and put it down. So it is a synthetic fertilizer. So you do run the risk of potentially burning your lawn as opposed to the more natural fertilizers that you see that advertise non-burning. And so you always do run a slight risk of it, but as long as you're kind of following what the bag and manufacturer recommends, you usually won't run into a problem. I made a few critical mistakes uh, with putting this down for this application. One, when I checked the manufacturer's website, they recommend not to fertilize if the temperatures are above 85 degrees and if it's high humidity. Well, it just so happens that it was definitely over 85 when I put down the fertilizer, and it was also very high humidity at the time. And on top of that, I didn't get it watered in right away. It was a day or two later to when I actually got, got it watered in. My next critical mistake was that I didn't put down the fertilizer at the manufacturer's recommended rate. So on the day that I put the fertilizer down, I was in a hurry and so instead of normally measuring out 
my fertilizer for each specific section of my lawn, which is what I always do anytime I'm using a synthetic fertilizer, I more or less just eyeballed it. And so for my lawn, for example, half of my whole square footage of my lawn is tied up in my side yard. It's about 5,000 square feet of my whole total 10,000 square feet. So in my mindset for with the bag, I need half the bag on that section of my lawn. And so instead of weighing it out like I typically do, I typically go through the process of doing the calculations of how much fertilizer per thousand square feet and then factor it out for each section of my lawn. Well, since I was in such a hurry, I was like, okay, I'll just do half the bag for my side yard section and then I still have half the bag for the rest of my yard and that will equal my 10,000 square feet. Well, this is all well and good, but I don't think I was quite accurate with how much I poured out. And then on top of that, my spreader setting. I didn't really recalibrate my spreader setting to test and make sure that I was putting out the right amount of fertilizer. So what ended up happening is, is I actually ran short on several sections of my lawn. I never normally run short whenever I'm putting out fertilizer just because on my first pass that I do on a on my first section of my lawn that I do, I always kind of do a lower setting on the, the spreader and then kind of get it more wide open as I kind of determine where the right setting is. Since I was in a hurry, I kind of guesstimated what I thought would be the proper setting and it pushed out a lot more fertilizer a lot quicker than what it needed to do. Therefore, putting down a lot of more fertilizer than what needed on the sections of my lawn. Now, typically whenever it comes to burning your lawn with fertilizer, it's not going to happen unless you're normally having like a spill of the fertilizer. That's usually going to be the main thing is if you're using a synthetic fertilizer and you happen to spill a bunch of it in a spot. Now that can really do the trick. But in my case, I essentially did that in spots just because I was putting it down way too heavy and ran short on my entire lawn. Now if you do think that you messed something up with the fertilizer that you put down, Sometimes you could save it. In my case, I'm not going to be able to save it. But if you do think that you spilled fertilizer or you made a mistake and put too much down, water it in right away. Start trying to water it in. That's the one of the best things that you can probably do. You don't just want to leave it sit there. Um, if you happen to spill a big pile of it, try to spread it out the best that you can just to try to save it. But in my case here, this stuff is just absolutely fried. So now that I've paid the price for my mistake, where do I go from here? The thing, I'm so thankful that we're getting ready to come into fall renovation time in our lawns because I'm going to be able to renovate the sections of my lawn that I completely killed um, by not being a very smart uh, lawn guy. And so I'm going to be able to actually uh, aerate and I'll just be able to seed kind of in those areas. So what I'm going to do kind of now is just over the next couple weeks, as that grass and that comes loosened up, I'll start making sure I rake that dead stuff out of there and so that I'll get it to where I'm kind of going to just be seeding on bare ground. And so if you have a spot that's completely dead in that, once you get close to where you're going to be seeding, which for us, it's not still going to be a few weeks away, you really want to rake all that dead stuff out of there. And so that way, when you put down new seed, you can kind of get the good seed to soil contact. So that way you can establish some new grass there. So now some of you may be like, well, I've never had this problem with fertilizer burns, so this brown spots don't really apply to me. I want this kind of lesson to apply anytime you have a brown spot in your lawn because it's important to investigate and figure out what's actually going on. And so for me, I told you a couple of the clues that stood out to me that made me think that was fertilizer burn was one, how quickly it popped up, and two, the fact that it, the pattern of it is just looks so mechanical. I mean, it's literally in the perfect shape of like kind of what my pattern was for when I was pushing out the fertilizer. And so now you want to factor that in. So if you see a brown spot in your lawn, go down and get on your hands and knees and look a little bit closer to try to figure out what's going on. A lot of times if it's insects or something, you'll pro some of the ones on top of the ground, you can actually see and find in your lawn. For example, if it's grubs that are under the ground, you should be able to just pull up that grass right away because they eat the roots out underneath of it. If it's lawn disease, you should be able to look at the leaf blades and see the actual lesions on the leaf blade that would tell you it's disease. 
And so then also, so then kind of factor all that in so that you can determine the proper way that you need to treat your lawn. So now when I was saying about getting down closely and looking, if you look there, this is a diseased grass blade. So I do have a little bit of disease going on in my lawn, but if you see brown spots in your lawn, just make sure that you go and really check the grass to see what's going on. So this will tell me here, okay, this isn't a drought stress or insect damage. This is just lawn disease right here. And so you may have that going on right now because we are in a prime season for lawn disease. As bad as my lawn looks right now with all the different issues that it has going on, I want this to be a message of hope because though it may look bad now, shortly it's going to look beautiful again. It's going to get back to where it, where it was. You can make huge, huge gains in your lawn in a short period of time. So if you're looking out in your lawn and it looks like what mine looks like or even worse than what mine looks like, don't worry. When we get into the fall here, it is the prime time to make huge gains in your lawn. And you can go from a lawn that looks like a zero to a hero very, very quickly. Um, if you just follow the proper steps as we kind of get into this fall period. Lastly, I want to give a shout out uh, to one of the subscribers to this channel. Uh, his name is Dave. He's a guy that I work with. He actually sent me a picture of his lawn here a few days ago. And man, his lawn is looking perfect. Um, he got a striper here just a, a few months ago. And so he's new to kind of striping in that. And it has changed the game for him. Now, I've never actually been to his house, so I can't confirm that this is an actual picture of his house because I do believe that I've seen that same picture when I Google searched perfect lawns. And so, Dave, I'm not sure if you're telling the truth or not, but if that's yours, man, way to go. <laughs> but, in all, <laughs> but in all serious, man, he's, he's doing a great job. And so I'm sure some of you are going through a season right now to where your lawn isn't struggling. So you watch my videos, but like, Pfft. This guy doesn't know what he's doing because my lawn's looking great. Others of us, we're struggling right now. And so uh, it's just one of those things with lawn care is that it's an active living thing. And so it goes through seasons just like we do in our own lives. Sometimes we have good seasons where things are going great in our lives. Other times we go through seasons where we're really struggling. And so the important thing is to just stick with it and then to keep start taking the steps to where you want to be. Even in your own life, if you're not where you want to be, whether it's uh, with your weight or whether it's with your relationships or whatever it may be, you want to kind of get a step forward. Find those step-by-step -step things that you need to do to get things to where they need to be, and you will see the results. And so that same goes, the same thing goes for your lawn. If you just take little baby steps each and every day and every time trying to get your best practices in, you are going to see great gains in your lawn. And pretty soon we will all be out of the weeds and into a beautiful lawn.